A young Albuquerque man found murdered and left in a creek in another state. Now his family is pleading to get back an important piece of his life, his dog. News 13's Marissa Lucero has the story. The Castillo family says they always worried when their son went off on one of his adventures, but they never expected this. Since he was a child, that's, he's been our crazy, wild, adventurous kid. Deborah Castillo says that zest for adventure and freedom is gone. This is very different. It was taken the day someone murdered her son. They don't usually find bodies like this in the creek. She says her son Dominic decided to go backpacking across the country. His parents weren't always fans of these spur of the moment trips. They figured he'd be fine as usual when he left just before Christmas and headed east. But what was unique about this trip, he brought his best friend along. A three-legged dog with um, unusual colors. Her name is Lily. The family says this was the last photo overlooking the Mississippi River. Dom posted to social media excited that he'd reached Memphis. That was in January, nearly two months later. A letter from the Memphis Forensics Department. They were trying to locate next of kin. Their son's body turned up in the non Connor Creek. According to police in Memphis, he had been strangled. As for Lily, the family found out the dog had been rescued, then adopted out. They say the person who has her refuses to give her up, but they refuse to give up fighting to bring her home. This is not just a dog. This is a dog that he rescued who was his life companion, who he may have given his life for. I really believe that that's a strong possibility. That's what's next. No arrests have been made, and Memphis police say they are still investigating the case. Marissa Lucero, KRQE News 13. The family has created a Facebook page called Bring Lily Home. Head over to KRQE.com or the KRQE app to find the link.